Hello. This week we will answer a question about gauge and yardstick. Dear teacher, I am Anora, your loyal reader from China. I am glad to write an email to you again. I am confused by the words gauge and yardstick. I sincerely hope to know their differences. Looking forward to your marvelous answers. Yours, Anora. Thanks for writing to us, Anora. A yardstick is a measuring device. The length of a yardstick is three feet, or point nine one four four meters long. We measure large things using yardsticks, like fabric or furniture. I used a yardstick to measure fabric for a dress that I will make. Calling something a yardstick is to say it is a standard by which to judge something. The teachers used the test results as a yardstick for how much their students learned this year. Dancers use their technique as a yardstick for improvement. Now let's move on to gauge. Like yardstick, a gauge involves measurement. Instead of measuring length, a gauge can measure distance, size, width, or the thickness of material or objects. For example, needles are sized by gauges to show their thickness. My ears were pierced using an 18-gauge needle. A gauge can also be a device or instrument for measuring. Sam uses a digital thermometer as a temperature gauge when he cooks. As a verb, gauge has several meanings. The first meaning is to measure the exact size or number of something. Weather scientists gauged snowfall at 12 inches. We can also use gauge to mean estimate. I gauge that we will have about 70 people at the wedding. And lastly, gauge can also be used to describe judging other people's emotions or opinions. Social media companies often gauge their users' interests with questions and opinion studies. He couldn't gauge his sister's feelings about the new move. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.